How did you start playing at Firstford? Um, I first went on a coach trip when I was about 14. Bus party, I come from Bedfordshire, from Luton in Bedfordshire, and some friends of ours organised a bus trip up to Norfolk to go to Thursford for the day out. And I saw the organ and fell in love with it. And uh, consequently, I've, uh, shortly after that, I got the job at Blackpool at the Tower, where I had an audition, got the job at Blackpool. And then I was invited back to Thursford on several occasions to perform there for private parties and on Sunday afternoons for the public. So that's how I first sort of got in, introduced to it, just by seeing it on a regular bus trip, as many people go there on bus trips. And then I was just very lucky to fall into to getting a job there when I was 19. In the early years, was it very difficult? Um, very, yeah, I suppose it's just sort of um, experience of playing. And uh, I was very lucky to get in at Blackpool when I was 16. I had three years there, and then I went on to Thursford. I say, well, I've been now for the 30, 33 years, but... Yeah, difficult at the first, but it's just like everything in life, just experience and working at it. How many organs do you think you've played over the years? I don't know. <laughs> I've been very lucky to go to Australia and America and New Zealand. Um, I've been to the States probably 30 times. I've played some of the biggest ones in, in the States and some of the best ones in Australia. And most of the organs around this country I've played. So I can't put a um, number on it, really. But it's got to be well into the 70s, I think, 70 or 80. And because I played in Holland as well. I used to spend a lot of time in Holland years ago and played for Hilversum Radio. There's a radio station that had a big Compton organ in the studio. And I did recordings on that. So I should probably think about 70 or 80 different instruments. Um, is the first one, well, it's your favourite? Um, I think it's the one I'm most associated with. I think it's one of the best organs in the country. Um, and it feels very much part of my life because I've played it, I think, more than anyone else has played it in its whole entirety. When it's, it was in the cinema, I think it's been at first for a lot longer and I think I've been the one that's played it more than anyone. So I think that is my favourite. It's my baby sort of thing. <laughs> um, do you think the job as a theatre organist will continue in, say, 50 years? Um, I... I Doubt it. I would hope. Well, I won't be around, but <laughs> but um, I hope it keeps going for several more years. And it would be nice if it went to a future generation, as to people like yourselves that show an interest in it. Sadly, there's not enough young people that are interested. But I would hope that it could keep going. But there's no reason why it shouldn't keep going because I think it's an art form that's worked for many many years, and I don't see why it couldn't continue. And I'd hope to think it does keep going. But as I say, I'm in my 50s now, so I'm, I'm probably not going to be around to see that. But one can only hope. Um, if we were to do the Desert Island Disc with you, what would be the one you would take? Um, well, my favourite piece? Um, I don't know. I've been asked that before several times. I like all sorts of music, so I like everything, uh, apart from some jazz I'm not that keen on. But... Um, I like all sorts. I like orchestral, classical, I like organ music, I like classical music. Um, I love all the stuff from the shows and anything like from Les Mis, things like that are my favourites and uh, Phantom, all them type of things really. So I don't think I can specify one particular tune because I just love it all. Um, and what was the, who was the organist you most looked up to when you were in your younger days? Um, I think it was early recordings I had of Reginald Dixon, who was the most famous and renowned organist of all times, who played at the Tower for so many years. Um, I had recordings of his, which I still own, and I've got a collection of those. Um, but I went to see lots of organists, as many organists as I could, just to get inspiration and ideas off of different organists, get their ideas off of the right styles they played, and sort of put a collection of ideas together for myself. Um, I can't really name one particular one, but I suppose it would be Reg Dixon. And you, did you ever meet him? I did, and I actually played for him his 80th birthday. They had a birthday party at Thursford for his 80th birthday, and they asked me to get up and play beside the seaside, and happy birthday for him on his special 80th birthday. And uh, so I met him on that occasion. That was the one and only time, but that was a pleasure. And finally, what do you feel when you play an organ? Um, excitement. I just enjoy playing. I love performing. I love performing in front of people. And obviously, if people come to see you, they've come because they obviously like the type of music you play. So that is the biggest buzz. Like today, here, we're playing in Bournemouth, that 250 people came, obviously, to hear the organ and obviously to hear me partly as well, I would hope. <laughs> they seemed quite happy. And that, for me, was the buzz to play the instrument and get such a powerful sound out of an instrument and also get across your emotions to the audience. 
and I think that's the biggest buzz about playing the organ for me 